Post-traumatic stress disorder is a clinical condition where somebody who's been exposed to traumatic event or very threatening type event um, has an enduring set of symptoms that don't just go away. It involves symptoms of being hypervigilant and quick to startle. They avoid going to places or thinking about things that remind them of the traumatic experience. Uh, the biggest myth about PTSD is that it's untreatable and that there's no hope. There's a ton of hope out there if you seek the treatment. Our work specifically focuses on an approach called prolonged exposure therapy and delivering that in virtual reality. Prolonged exposure involves having the patient close their eyes and imagine a traumatic event and narrate their experience as if it's happening right then and there. This is something they've been avoiding doing all along because it's just so painful. So our view was always that we could engage people if we put them in a virtual environment that mimicked the kinds of experiences that they had. If it's not set right, it'll look blurry. Yeah. We integrate computers, VR headsets, and we also have a platform that we run the sound through that has subwoofers. So when somebody's sitting on a chair on the platform or standing on the platform, all the sound goes through. So when you're driving a Humvee, you feel the vibration. Uh, when a bomb goes off, you feel the rumbling. It's a, a way of embodying the experience beyond what your eyes and ears pick up from, you know, very sophisticated computer graphics and, and audio inputs. Our lab now is moving towards taking everything we've learned in the last 15 years and evolving this approach and testing it and doing research uh, to move it towards the civilian sector. So sexual trauma, police, you know, people don't realize that police, they're exposed to combat-like trauma, you know, particularly in the inner city, every day. Honestly, we tell patients, it's gonna get harder before it gets easier. We're going to ask you to go back into the heart of darkness. Um, but we're going to be here. We're going to do it gradually at a pace you can handle. And as you do this more and more, eventually you don't feel as anxious and you start to feel empowered.